Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hi, new subscribers. Um, I've had a few new subscribers over the past couple of days. So hi to you guys and hi to my oldies, but goodies. Today, I'm gonna show you how I style my short hair. Um, it's recently been cut, so it's very short at the moment. But as you can see, it's it's quite limp. Um, this is one day old hair, so you know it's not like freshly washed so it's not completely fly away it's, it's got a few oils that have built up in it which is good obviously for the styles that we want to do I'm going to do some braiding styles as well my hair isn't like a short pixie cut but it's not long either so it's imperative that I can have easy hairstyles on a day-to-day -day basis so if you want to find out how I do easy hairstyles for short hair then keep watching first you want to part the hair down the center creating two separate parts then tie one side so that it doesn't get in the way of the other side then you're going to take a small section of hair at the front make that into three and you're just basically going to start plaiting the hair you're not going to braid it just yet you're just going to plait to start off the braid and then you're going to start adding small sections of hair each time and then you add a bit from the front and you're basically just going to repeat this so it's just braiding taking a section of hair plaiting you're going to repeat this all the way to the end until the whole head has been braided I also do find that doing this without a mirror is actually a lot easier because you can then just focus on feeling for the hair and not trying to look for it because that can get confusing. Um, braid is not necessarily the easiest thing to do so I do find that sometimes it is easier without a mirror. Once you get to the end of the hair, you're just going to secure it with a hair tie. And you're just going to repeat the exact same steps on the other side. Now, once I have uh, positioned my baby hairs, I like to loosen up the plaits because you want this look to look really effortless and if it's just too tight and too perfect, it just doesn't look very nice. You know, this is a really relaxed look and that's what it looks like from the back. And this is the finished look, guys. So for this next hairstyle, it's another braid hairstyle. You're going to take a small section from the front and you're basically going to repeat what you did in the last steps, but not going all the way down the back. It's just going to go across your forehead. So it's a lot smaller. You're 
you want to try and get it as tight as possible as well because you it will loosen up but if you've especially with short hair you need to try and get it as tight and then you can loosen it afterwards if your hair is getting in the way you can also pin it back with a clip or a hairband but I didn't bother to do it so once it's been plait all the way you're not going to secure it with a hair tie or anything you're actually going to wrap it around the back of your head and you're going to secure it with a bobby pin and you want the bobby pin to go in in a downwards direction to keep it more secure just like that this is what it should look like so yeah neaten up any baby hairs at the front i know this isn't <laughs> A proper hairbrush for baby hairs is actually for dyeing your hair, but I couldn't find um, my teasing brush anywhere, so yeah. <laughs> so now you're going to repeat the exact same steps you did on the other side. you're going to take your bobby pin and secure it again the exact same way that you did with the other side and this is the final look guys now this next um, hairstyle I really love it it's a really really um, fun playful hairstyle I think um, it requires a little bit more effort I feel but it's it's worth it at the end so you're going to take a section of hair at the front and you're going to secure it with a hair tie now once you've wrapped it two or three times you're going to stop and create a faux fringe as you can see here. Now don't worry if it's straight, you can put some straighteners on it just to give it a little bit more body and create a little bit more of a defined look and you should end up with something like this. Now you're going to take a scarf, any scarf of your choice, and you're going to basically use that scarf to disguise where the fringe is coming out of. So just move it back, all the way back, so that you can't really see where it's coming out of. And it just disguises it a little bit. And then you're going to basically tie it in a bow. Now, in terms of your hair, you could leave it like this, but I'm actually going to curl my hair. And I'm going to curl it away from my head. So always away from my hair so that I can get a nice curl away and I'm just going to basically repeat that all over my head And that's the finished look, guys. Now, for this next step, it is so easy. This, I think, is like the easiest hairstyle and takes me literally like 30 seconds in the morning. You're going to um, take a section again from the top and you're basically just going to tie the hair in a bun. And you're going to swirl it until you get like a cinnamon swirl type of bun. And you're just going to secure that with a hair tie. And you wanna loosen it a little bit, make it look not so neat. And that's it, that's the hairstyle.
Now for this next look, it is a messy bun. I absolutely love messy buns. I think they're just so effortless and yeah, so you're just gonna take a hair tie again and you're gonna tie the hair, but you're kinda gonna wrap the hair around on itself, as you can see what I'm doing here. And then any loose hairs, just kind of pull them down and then tuck and pin any hairs that you kind of want to look a little bit more defined. And this is the finished look, so what it should look like. Now for this next look, you're going to do a plait, not necessarily a braid, a really, really messy plait. There doesn't need to be any defined partings or anything. And you're just gonna plait the hair all the way to the bottom. Now, once you get to the bottom of the hair, you don't need to secure it with a hair tie because you're actually going to take all the hair up into a ponytail. And this is the finished look, guys. Now, this last look, I love it. It's so cute. I do this look a lot on my Instagram um, because I think it looks really classy with certain outfits and really chic as well. So you're just going to take your hair up in one and all the hair that is left, you're going to plait all of that hair. It's, it doesn't need to be that neat, but try and get it as neat as possible because you don't want random hair sticking out of the plait. And once you've got to the end, you're just going to swirl it into that cinnamon bun type um, roll. And then you're going to just go in to secure it with a hair tie. And that's it. That's, that's, the, that's the look. Hey guys, well that's the end of the tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and I'll be back with more videos. Bye guys.